Quick question. Uh, we do have a, a concern, and one of the reasons we came up here is there's unmarked cars all over the campus. And under 46.08.065, unmarked cars are not legal. That's not true. It is absolutely true. That's the law. I, I, don't, I don't agree with you. Okay. It doesn't matter what your lawyers say. Well, the law is clear. It says you shall not operate these. It's, it's clear okay. that sheriff's vehicles are exempt if you're in that statute. No, it's not. So, That's yeah, not. It I, I, it's I, clear. Sir, I, I'm, okay, here, I'm not let, gonna, let I'm me just, I understand we disagree, but let me just say that. that I've researched the legal intent all the way back to 1937, and, and so I'm very familiar to, with it. So you do have deputies then that patrol and do stops in unmarked cars? We do. I don't know. We've got, uh, we certainly have detectives. We have detectives. Yeah, right. Isn't it true that there was, th I, I, wasn't there I, I, a I shooting here okay. in 2010 right. that, are you so not going to, are you, you not going to answer the questions? Wasn't the shooting here in 2010 in an unmarked vehicle? Okay. I guess he doesn't want to answer that one. I guess not. <laughs> Looks like, uh, these are patrol cars, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, here's a patrol car. This is unmarked. There's no, uh, Looks like it probably has lights, but there's no lettering. Just a regular old exempt plate. There's a second one there. There's a, I think, is that one? No, it might be a private car. Is this a... Yep, there's one. So there's three, three unmarks here. And one mark. There's more unmarks than there is marked. Is this one too? Look at the caption. This one's set in front of patrol captain Ooh, okay look at this yeah here's a totally unmarked car police interceptor and it's parked right in front of the <laughs> patrol captain for the Spokane Police Department <laughs> which is a clear violation of 46 .08.065 and this looks like another one this one may be uh, this is for the police captain so we got unmarked cars aplenty out here we've been we've been hovering around the, you know talking to them engaging people asking people questions making videos for hours Anthony just made the point that normally if you were in a public building just like hanging out for all this time, they would be coming to question you just for that. And, and look at how they're leaving us alone when we assert ourselves. I mean, if you, if you look like this hillbilly here, <laughs> they're going to be out talking to you saying, what's this guy doing here? <laughs> hey there. Hey. You with the sheriff's office? Yes. Is this, uh, is this a patrol vehicle? Yes, it is. Okay, sir, sir, come back here. Wow, he run like a coward. Look at them. They're just running away from us. <laughs> so here's the thing. They don't, they don't want to engage us. They know we're out here, but they're probably calling out on the radio and warning that there's two exactly. guys watching. Guys, we're in Spokane here. We're seeing so many unmarked cars in and out of here that it's, it's not even funny. This is not an isolated incident. We're not talking about a few new cars. Uh, they're, they're just blatantly in violation of the law. The county sheriff up here is responsible for this. He's accountable to uphold the law. This is a perfect example here in Spokane County because there was an incident here in 2010 where an unmarked vehicle uh, went out, and it was a sheriff vehicle, went to someone's property, and when the person came out to check on it, the man, uh, Mr. Creech, ended up getting shot and killed by the officer. Had the car been legally marked, it's very likely that would have come out very different. People have been murdered. Uh, people have been raped because of people impersonating in unmarked cars. There's a reason we have the law the way it is. And it, it's not just about unmarked cars. It's not about any one thing. It's about accountability in government. It's about elected officials and, and a sheriff. I mean, for heaven's sake, if, if you elect a sheriff in this county, do you not expect him to uphold the law? Do you not demand that he uphold the law? You've got to start holding these people accountable. You know, they have no desire to be accountable to law. The way these guys just run away from us, they have no desire to be accountable to anyone except for to do what they want to do. Well, and I think a good point we need to bring to it is that we're standing right here in a well-lit area and we're not sure that they're unmarked cars until we're standing right here where they must slow down and stop and we see a uniform in the car right. for us to be able to tell they're an unmarked car. So we have police running around impersonating citizens and endangering the public. Very much so. In I mean, the name of public safety. We're, we're here trying to uh, capture images of law enforcement in unmarked cars it's deliberate on our part right and if yeah if we were a citizen at our home and we hear some noise outside we walk outside we see a plain car we see an, uh, somebody in the dark we have the right to defend ourselves we have the right to be armed we walk out and we get gunned down by law enforcement right. officers Simply on your own property. On our own property, simply because we can't identify the car as the law enforcement. And of course, since in Spokane, they don't use cameras on their cars. How convenient. You know, it's, it's hard to know exactly what happened that night. One thing we are sure of, though, is that the citizen is dead on his own property, and the car was unmarked when, according to Washington state law, 
it it has to be marked and when we came up here today i don't know if the sheriff's here or not they're saying he's not but but he hasn't been willing to talk about it when we got the under sheriff to come out finally as soon as we started questioning him on this stuff he just he just ran away he wouldn't even talk about it so it's clear i mean you, you have sheriff ozzy knizovich up here who is is saying well my lawyers say different i get to interpret the law the way i want when in fact the law is absolutely clear the intent of the law is absolutely clear and he is openly and defiantly breaking the law if he's breaking the law in this one area i mean we've lost count of how many unmarked cars we've seen around this campus today if he's breaking the law in this area how many areas that you can't see is the law being broken in yeah and let's make a point uh, a point clear on this these are not just cars sitting in parking lots these are cars coming back uh, shift yeah. change and admitting that they were out patrolling exactly when, it's when that is a clear violation we're of the catching law. them coming back and changing shifts yeah. in these unmarked cars yeah absolutely so it's time to start replacing people with people that will uphold the law if if we the people will not enforce our law our rights on government then no one will it's our job but it, why is there not markings on it um indicating it's a police vehicle You don't do patrol. Well, that's what I was asking. So yeah, you, no, I'm not a patrol. So you have an undercover exemption then? So you're not a patrol lieutenant? No, I'm going in here to okay. put my stuff away. Okay. So you're, are you the patrol lieutenant? No. Okay. No. We're just trying to verify because there's a lot of unmarked cars being used and there's a Washington State RCW that says that unless you're certified for undercover investigative purposes, uh, you can't you can't drive an unmarked vehicle. It has to have legal legally required markings on it like that. Mm -hmm. So are you aware of that? And are do you have that, that exemption? No, I'm an administrative... Person. So do you have an exemption to that? Are you familiar with that law and have you made sure that you're in compliance with that law? I'm not a patrol officer. But the, no, the law is not for patrol officers. It says that you have to be in compliance with the law. So that's, are you saying that you are just ignoring the law? What's your name, sir? 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 You're in a, a restricted area. Okay, well, maybe you should come out here and talk to me. Then. You're in a restricted area. I'm asking area. you a question. You're going to be arrested. You're in a restricted area. Do you see what the sign says? What? I'm gonna be arrested. <laughs> What's the sign? Let's see what the sign says. This is jail. It doesn't say restricted area. This is an ingress. There's nothing that says restricted. It says public safety building. Obviously, that's a secure area because it's all locked up. He just, he just totally lied to us, didn't he? Because they are they are running scared when challenged on the law. And I believe that was, this was Spokane PD, right? So they're all in the same building here. I understand we're kind of walking around chatting with people. They're all in the same building. And the funny thing is, he this is a, a door that's key card access, and he just left with us standing here with the door open. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, it's funny he denied being patrol, but yet he parked in the uh, patrol lieutenant's parking right. spot. Right. Well, and maybe he's not patrol. And that may, and but even so, the the law is not for patrol. Exactly. The law is for. Excuse me. How you doing? Hello. How you doing? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? I'm leaving work. Oh, gotcha. Do you work here? We were just trying to talk to this guy here, and he just walked in and left us standing here. Okay, we're yeah. going to have to let this door shut. Does he want to come out and check? This, this, it doesn't. He, he threatened us with arrest for standing in this area here, okay. even though there's nothing that says this is a secure area. Uh, and okay. he didn't seem to be care. Uh, and we were just trying to ask him some questions. Secure. You understand you're having a recording duel against each other? or What? A <laughs> recording duel. <laughs> we're t the, the concern, are you a patrolman or... Yeah. Okay. You gotta let this door shut. My, my name's Gavin. What's your name? Dave. Dave. I'm, I'm going home. We're shutting okay. the door. Okay. Uh, once we finish talking here, yeah. No. Th this is. Sir. I Sir? asked you a question. Yeah. You Are you a patrolman? You need to let this door. Are shut. you driving one of these unmarked vehicles? We, no, we're, not we're not the ones that left it open. We're not the ones that left this door open. Okay. Well, your foot is holding it. Because I'm standing here talking to you. Okay. I mean, it's secure. You're in the door. Is, is this a secure area? Because it doesn't say that. This door here is this not a secure is a area. Secured area. Move it, your foot, ma'am. This not. is a secured area, and you're not to be here. You need to move. There you go. Come this on in here. this does not say secure. Where does this say secure area here? What? Where does this say secure area? Clearly, that's a secure area. This is a this is a, this is a public safety building. There's nothing that says security. Your woman just employee. assaulted me, sir. She's not my woman. I, the woman that works here, I obviously. I'm not. Assaulting my wife right now. <laughs> Careful now. Why this might be on YouTube. Um, I, I don't think it's funny at all. I think you guys are violating the law. And are you aware of RCW 46.08.065 regarding marking of vehicles? I'm sorry, do you need something from me right now? Are you uh, an answer to a question? Yeah, we're trying to get an answer to the question. Okay. We're trying to determine why we're seeing so many unmarked cars. We're, we're, we're perfectly willing to be polite and cooperative about this. We're being really nice car, to you. So I don't know what you're 
Okay, but you came out and, and you guys were very c combative and threatening to us when we... I don't we... think you understand the definition of the word combative. Oh, actually, I actually, do. Trust I me. So can you just answer a couple questions and then we'll let you go home? Because I'm sure you got a family to get to. You know, at this point, you guys are harassing me. This is not I'm harassing. harassing you are a public official. I'm not a public official. You're I'm not. You're an officer of the law. You know, I'm trying to go home. We're not stopping and you. And you're harassing me. We're not me. stopping We're not you from going you. home. Okay. We're trying to get some questions answered while you go to your car. Yeah, I don't want you guys following me. Okay, oh. just know that you guys cannot be patrolling and tell this to the other officers in unmarked vehicles. We just saw one of your officers who threatened us with arrest for being in an area that was not marked as secure, that that the law needs to be followed. This car right here to your right, go ahead and look at that one. That car is not legal unless it's being used for special undercover or investigative purposes, okay? Did we get his name? Yeah, I think I think he'd give you his name right. at the beginning. Of it. Well, we don't, you know, he wants to go home. I mean, I understand he has a family too and we've made the point. So yeah. we don't want to get too, uh, too in their face. We're trying to have a conversation here and have people be accountable. <laughs> But that woman just pushed me right out of the way. And that's, that, let's, let's review that. Because that does not say, this is clearly, it says entrance right on it. This is, this is an entrance to a hallway that then goes into a secure area. This is not a secure area. In, in terms of any legal sense that I can tell. Neither can I. I mean, I mean the fact that I walked in with this guy, there's nothing prohibiting me from being in this hallway right here. And did, did you show that on your camera? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually did. Because obviously it says em, em, employees only, visitors, blah, 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 at this at the secure area. And there's clearly a sign there that says secure area on that door. Well, and the, what what found what I found there kind of odd is the officer just walked and left the door open. He walked and left the door open. If it was we a here, standing who, in yeah. the foyer. Who would do that if, if it was really a, a security issue? Exactly. And just leave a stand there. And then they come out and pushed me out of the way. Did you have that on camera yes, when I you did that? Did. I mean, come on. There's such a such a disrespect from these people because they don't want to be accountable to the law and they don't want to be accountable to us. And it's clear to me at this point, you know, I was, I was, I, I, I'm not from this city. I don't know about you, but it's clear to me at this point that the sheriff is not doing his job around here. Absolutely Regardless not. of everything else, he's letting cars in blatant open violation of the law roam around. Sheriff Ozzie Knezevich is not upholding his oath. He is not upholding the law. He's not making sure his people are accountable. And I don't know what all else he's doing. I just know things I've heard and I don't want to just repeat gossip. But what I'm seeing here is someone who's not accountable to law and to the people that he serves and to our rights. I'm seeing people behave. I'm seeing the attitude of bullies around here. Oh, Even yeah, though some of them are polite, but like this lady here, I mean, that's the attitude of a bully to, to come out there and push me. Well, and I was thinking about saying, do I tolerate this? But I don't, I didn't really want well, to go to jail question. tonight. Are you sure she was law enforcement? I, I don't even think she was probably law enforcement, no. There was, there was absolutely no uniform that I no. could see. She didn't She, did, she didn't give any sort of authority. She just came out and pushed me. Yes. Yeah, hey, sir. Hold on a second. Hey. That's what happens when you try and ask a question of a police officer up here. <laughs> okay. And we got another unmarked car here. It's a red one over here. It's clearly in the patrol uniform. Yeah. Even, sir. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. Are you with the police department? Obviously, yes. Well, it wasn't obvious until I saw your badge. You could oh. have been sheriff. You guys are kind of all okay. mixed around here. This side, I take it as police, and the other side is sheriff. Is that no. how it works? Just all, all mixed yeah, up? Just one big public gotcha. safety building. I, I noticed you were driving an, an unmarked vehicle. Yes. Is that being used for patrol, or what is that being used for? It's patrol. It's got a okay. shield in it, emergency lights. Gotcha. Are you aware that under RCW 46.08.065 that that's illegal and in violation of Washington state law for you to operate that vehicle? I guess that'd be a case for you to take up with my supervisors. No, the law is actually directed at the officer. It says the officer shall not. I have to go about some business. So are you saying you don't care what the law says? Is that what we're getting at? I'm not exactly sure what, what What's your name? You are... Corporal Oyen. Oyen? Okay. Mr. Oyen. So you don't... Do you, have you read this law? Are you familiar with it? No, nope, I am not. Do you, if I was breaking a law on the streets of Washington State, would you expect that, it, that I uphold the law? So, can I ask you a question? I'm going to ask you to go ahead and remove yourself from the, this portion and close the door for security purposes. Okay, can you finish yeah. talking to us just for a minute no, and then we'll you, let you go? You go ahead and step out. There's nothing that says this is a secure area. Okay, this locks. It's right, I understand. And we're, and we're, safety building. But it's, there it says secure area on okay. that side, not here. This is also a secure area too. No, this is an ingress and egress from the building. It's not a secure area. Sir? I don't know what you're trying to do here. We're just trying to get some questions okay. answered. Okay. Can you answer I, his question? I have to go, and I do not allow this open to the public, right. okay? Good. Nobody else tries to come in here. Nobody steps their foot in the door. Except for me, I just Okay, did. and I'm gonna have you step back. And what happens if I don't? Well, I'm asking you nicely, just like you've been polite sure. to me. Sure, fair enough. So can you, I'm gonna leave. Can you give us 30 seconds, no, and then we'll leave? No, I am done. 
I've already told you that. You didn't you answer our question. One of our supervisors. Or do you okay. have an issue with talking to us? Yeah, isn't that no, kind of your I'm job? Not sure. I'm you... not sure what you're doing. I'm trying to go do my job right now. I just explained. No, your job is to serve the people. Good night. All right, you have a good night. Well, he didn't force me to close the door <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't push it. All right, we'll, we'll call it. Let's, let's, let's move on. They're going to, uh, at some point, they're going to gang up on us out here. Yeah. And I don't really want that to happen on a dark alley where they, we have no public witness. There it is, one more conversation chalked up. More and more evidence of lawless authority. And, you know, this is not about, this is not about disliking police officers or authority because Absolutely. neither of us feel that way. But I don't, I don't disdain police, I disdain injustice. Exactly. I disdain lawlessness from our government. And we the people must and we will hold them accountable. Well, and here's the thing, is we hire them to protect and serve, to enforce the law. Right. And that's not just upon us, it's upon them also. Yeah. And yeah. And we've, we're, it's clearly, we write laws on them to keep us safer on our and streets. it's clearly today that they're not doing that. They're enforcing no. law upon us, but right. not upon But not themselves. upon them. So, Spokane County Public Safety Building, needless to say, we don't feel very safe out here right now. And I've been we've we've been threatened with arrest. <laughs> um, I've been I've been pushed and shoved, and uh, that's I guess what happens up here under the watch of the elected officials in Spokane County. Not a good thing, guys. All right. So this was a really interesting night, and me and Anthony had quite an adventure today. What? what how about the crazy lady that attacked me? I mean, this this lady comes out. We have no idea who she is. And she's not in a uniform, she's not identifying. For all we know, she could have just escaped from jail. And she's coming at me, and I'm like, lady, I don't even know you, and I'm married. And, but I mean, seriously though, <laughs> kidding aside, this, it got pretty intense there because we have no idea who we're dealing with. And I think this emphasizes this whole conversation of accountability, and right back to the bigger conversation of accountability, and also the marked cars and things like that. Because if you don't know who you're dealing with, you're not gonna be safe. Well, and, and it showed a, a good example today is when you were attacked by this woman, we didn't know if it was a civilian or a, a cop, right. and we couldn't respond because she was unmarked. She had no uniform on. And it gives a good example well, along with the cars. Right. If and they're unmarked, we don't, know, we don't know how to respond to it. And we saw so many unmarked cars up here in Spokane. I mean, this is happening all over, but they are so blatantly violating the law. The disrespect is so obvious that it's amazing. Spokane police, the Spokane County Sheriff, and we see all these unmarked cars, and some of the people in the cars don't have uniforms, you know, they're, they're doing this or they're doing that, and they're running around. So, and the one last point that I'd like to make is, we went into this knowing what we were doing. Right. We knew that we were going to film unmarked cars. Right. We knew that we were going to be running into officers of the law. And us knowing that in an officer of the law heavy area, right. we still could not tell the cars and the people apart. Yeah. And so if we were accosted by a criminal, we couldn't at that point tell the difference between law, legal law enforcement officers and criminals off the no, street. No, with their behavior at that point, if somebody had pulled up in a car and jumped out and attacked us, we wouldn't know if it was um, somebody that was trying to rob us or whether it was a police officer. I mean, literally, we, wouldn't, literally. we would not have known at that point. I mean, we Because they were running around in unmarked cars. Some of them weren't even wearing uniforms. It's, it's just total lawlessness. Very much so, very much so. Start holding them accountable. Quit tolerating lawlessness from your government and your public officials because it's going to cost us. Keep it, it real, keep it free. Take care, guys. Gavin and Bosworth out.